Hi guys, uh, today we have another uh, month set up. It's already end of July and we're already entering August. I still can't believe it how fast this year is going. But there's a part of me that I'm very happy that 2020 it's going away. <laughs> Anyway, so I got my insert here. As you can see, this is a different insert. This is actually uh, one of the inserts that I got from my pen pal. This is a limited edition from Traveler's Company. So I'm so excited to use this one up. Um, I reserved this one to use in August because August is one of my favorite months out of the year and the reason being is because it's my birthday month so I really wanted to reserve this uh, to use in August and uh, yeah so very excited to set this one up I'm not sure how the colors are going to pan out um, it's very interesting color combination between this aqua blue and uh, this uh, metallic red I'm not sure how I'm gonna, I don't know, you'll see, but let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. And uh, what I was thinking about doing, because this is, uh, you know, it has a Traveler's Factory logo right here on the front. I thought it would be a good idea maybe to keep going with the Traveler, Traveling, <laughs> if it that makes sense so I grabbed some paper from a uh, team holds is one of those paper stash that has like the map so I thought about adding something like that um, around here um, and uh, I grabbed one of the classic tags right here that actually has kind of like the same I mean it's not the same color this is like metallic red. I have nothing with metallic red, but the red, it's kind of similar. Hopefully you can see there. I don't know if my camera is, is focusing, but um, so it's kind of similar red. So I thought about adding this so I can put the title of the month. And uh, I was looking through my paper dolls and I found this doll right here that has, um, her hair is almost like the same blue like aqua blue of the travels notebook and she's wearing some kind of like a red dress um and she has a backpack um so i thought it was very fitting for the whole traveling um you know layout so i thought about doing that and maybe added some tickets and uh, some postage stamps just going around up I don't want to cover too too much the cover because this is the center of everything i mean this is a limited edition so i, I of course i don't want to cover this but yeah i thought i wanted to do something that just complemented and great we just got clouds and the video got very dark but okay we're just gonna keep rolling with it um but yeah let's go ahead and go to my desk and see how that goes Jesus, it got so dark. All right, so here's what I'm thinking of doing with this. So I grabbed some uh, tickets and uh, some postage stamps. And yes, I'm aware most of them are from the Netherlands. But what can I say? Their colors are just amazing. I mean, they have the perfect colors. So. <laughs> Yeah, so I grabbed some postage stamps, I grabbed some piece of ephemera from uh, one of my pen pals that she sent me. I think this would be some a good option to layer. And uh, what I was thinking as well, um, I grabbed this piece from the pay pen, the washi tape. And it has some uh, flowers that has the same kind of color as you can see is the same uh, aqua blue. So I was thinking maybe this could be a good option for laying it out. I don't know, we shall see. But yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring you guys to my desk. I mean, you guys are already my desk, but in, you know what I mean. I'm gonna put the tripod on and we're gonna start rock and rolling this thing. All right, let's do that. All right, guys, so uh, before we start here, I just wanted to quick explain how I set up my traveler's notebook 
In case you're new here to the channel and if you haven't had a chance to watch any of my previous setup videos, now I will link those videos above here on the screen. I'll link the entire playlist in case you're curious and you wanted to watch it later. Um, but just really quick here to explain so you know what's going on. Um, I like to use my uh, travels notebook as both my journal as well as my planner. So what I like to do is the beginning of my insert, I dedicate those few pages to my planner. So that's where I added my goal page, my monthly log, as well as my weekly logs. And uh, after that, I start journaling and I journal daily. And just so you know, um, I usually separate two full pages to each day for me to journal. So because of that, um, I need to add an extra page to my insert. If you're not familiar with the Travelers Company inserts, they come with 64 pages usually if you're not doing the traveling uh, you know, version, which it has less pages, but if you're going with the regular inserts, they come with 64 pages. Now, on an average, every month, I need about anywhere from 66 to 68 pages, with the exception of February. Um, so I always need to add it in an extra page for to the insert in order for me to have enough page pages to work with. So what I do, I bought another insert uh, that I only use to the sole purpose of uh, removing pages out of it so I, I can add it to my month insert. So that's what you saw me doing in the beginning of the video. You saw me bringing my uh, extra insert and removing that page out of it and adding to this um, to this insert here. And the reason why I can do that is because most of the inserts from Traveler's Company, at least the ones that I use, they are stapled. So it's just so much easier to just lift the staples up, uh, added the extra page that you need, and then close the staples up again. Now, um, that is personal preference. Um, I do need quite a bit of paper. Uh, I'm aware of that, that not everybody it is like me. So if you don't like the idea of dedicating two full pages for each day to journal, if you think that is too much, I totally understand that you can do just one page or half a page. And if that's the case, that's the beauty about the Traveler's Company inserts because they're stapled. You can remove pages as well. Not only you are able to add it, but you can also remove it. And later on, you can just create another cover for that extra pages that, you know, you remove from your insert and just have an extra insert out of one. So you have two inserts in one. So I hope that makes sense. So, um, but yeah, that's why I need the extra page. That's why you see me adding. And I like to add it right off the bat so I don't forget because if I don't do that, I'll keep going and I start decorating my insert and I forget about adding that page and then once I get to the center and pass that, then it's too late for me to add that page. I have to do a tip pen and I don't like to do that. My perfectionist soul does not accept that. <laughs> but anyways, um, another thing um, that I wanted to uh, let you guys know. Um, especially if you're new here and if you're not familiar with my style. Uh, I don't usually use that type of insert that I'm using this month. Um, my go-to insert is the 003 from Traveler's Company. That's their, um, you know, blank MD paper insert. And uh, the insert is just literally all white pages with a craft paper cover. Uh, there's nothing on the front, there's no logos, nothing. It's very basic and I like that because it gives me the freedom to play around and, uh, you know, um, do whatever I want with the insert. This is an exception this month because I was gifted by one of my pen pals uh, with this beautiful uh, limited edition insert from Traveler's Factory. I, you know, I had to use it. So I was saving up to using August because like I mentioned earlier in the video August is one of my favorite months because it's my birthday month so I really wanted to treat myself and use that 
very beautiful and a limited edition insert this month but yeah usually that's not what I use I just use the basic one the 003 so and I hope you can still find uh, even though I'm using this insert today I hope you can still find somehow helpful the layouts that I'm using I know the papers in this insert they're all this uh, aqua blue um, it's gonna be interesting to work with this throughout the entire month. I'm very excited about, you know, pushing myself um, to be using just blue papers for the most part of the month, with the exception of that one that I added that is white. But yeah, but I'm excited. Uh, this is different, but I hope you guys can still find inspiration, even though you don't, you might not have the same insert, um, and that you might be using like just a white one. I really hope you can still find inspiration. I try to create layouts that could still be used in any paper color, really. Um, you know, so yeah enough rambling <laughs> um but yeah i hope it was not too, too much of a ramble uh i just wanted to explain to you guys especially uh for you guys that are new here to my channel i've been getting a lot of new subscribers so i just wanted to explain a little bit more of how i use it so usually the cover the front cover i like to decorate very heavily and I added the month title um because i use um and i don't think i mentioned that if I did, I'm sorry, but I don't think I did. But another part of me setting it up my insert is that every month I use a new insert. So every month I have a new insert uh, that I decorated and I dedicated just for that month. So I don't mix up months. I know some people like to, you know, just write it until the insert ends. Like I mentioned earlier, I am a perfectionist. It just drives me insane. I try to do that and I just don't like it to have, you know, sometimes I would write it too much in a month and then a month and a half and that insert will cut and I'll have it to, and I'll have half a month here in an insert and the, the rest of the month in the other insert. For a perfectionist, it, that is like, no. <laughs> That is a no-no. <laughs> so to to stop driving myself insane and, uh, you know, I just decided to make my life easier and just plan it out. That's why I don't even bother because I knew I could just, you know, dedicate a few days to just one page instead of two and I don't have to edit any other pages. But because I don't want it to be second guessing what day should I just do one page instead of two. I just added my extra page. It's not a big deal. And then I'm happy. I don't have to worry about it. My perfectionist soul is happy and we are all good to go. <laughs> so one last thing to stress about it. Um, but yeah, so every insert is just for one month, full month. And then once I'm done with that insert, I'm moving to the next one, which is very fun. I love to have a separate insert because I have everything in one thing. If I ever have to come back, um, I know exactly where insert I can go. And I know where that, you know, that insert, what month it is for. I don't know, I just like it. I really like it. Uh, like I said, I tried things before, different uh, systems, you know, bullet journal, regular journal, separating planners with the journal, and it's just a lot. It's just a lot. Life is so busy, and it's so complicated as it is. Um, for you to having to be carrying multiple journals and multiple planners and, uh, you know, having to be second-guessing what they should do or not, or, Yeah. I try to make my life easier as I can and actually spend time with the things that I love to spend time with, which is decorating. Yes, I spend a lot of time decorating, but that makes me happy and uh, I'm okay with that. So anyways, moving on, I am uh, I finished adding everything. And like I said, I just used some paper from Team Holtz. That's the map. The tag here that I'm using is Classiki. I'm using some piece of ephemera that are all vintage, those bus tickets and those other tickets, um, some vintage posted stamps, and this paper doll, if you're curious, that one, I got it from Cafe Analog. It's actually 
the Writing Music Coffee sticker set from Peon, if you are curious about where I got that paper doll from. I'll link it above here on the screen, my haul playlist. Most of the items that I'm using, I have somewhere in one of my hauls. So if you're interested to see where I got any of those, um, you know, items, um, yeah, uh, you can definitely check it out later. I'll link it above here. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I really liked how this cover turned out. You know, I was so worried that I was going to mess up with this cover because the color, guys, this was a hard color to work with. Like this metallic red and the aqua blue. Don't get me wrong. I work with a lot of red and blue because, you know, I'm in the US. So those are the colors <laughs> of our flag. So here and there you do some layouts like that. But this aqua blue, I don't even think I ever use aqua blue in any of my my layouts but anyways i really liked how it turned out i was very surprised but yeah moving on the next page once i'm done uh, decorating my cover and uh, like uh, um i'm pretty sure you noticed i added the month and the year for that cover so i know exactly what the insert it is for now uh when you move on the next page if if you are familiar with traveler's notebook at all all of their inserts comes with this um, inside cover it's their signature right it has a travelers company logo on the bottom and it has this rectangular shape right there so I like some people use that to indicate what the insert it is for because I already do that in the cover I like to use this page for my goal page um, I like my goal page to be the first page that you see it as soon as I open my insert because I want it to be front center. I want to always be looking at my goal. I'm a very um, goal oriented type of person. I know some people are not like that and you might not appreciate uh, having this but uh, for the ones that are very goal oriented um, I think that that is always a good option to have you know uh, the goal right in the front like on the first page so i always like to have my goal right there and i only work with one goal a month um i don't have yearly goals i don't believe in yearly goals i think it's too far out um but again i go into more details in my setup video so it's linked on that playlist if you want to check it out but yeah so i usually for my goal page i like to edit an extra paper or a tag so i can write in my goal so that's why i'm adding this classic tag so i can write it the goal and i just added this a vellum uh, paper on top of that this was actually uh, gifted to me by Cafe Analog when I I made it my order there and it was just such a pretty color and matched so well with the um, you know with the aqua blue thing so I wanted to use that and the stickers is from that same washi tape from Paypen and yeah that's pretty much it I'm gonna leave it as it is I like to usually uh, glue down the paper or tag that I'm gonna use to write my goal with just some washi or some stickers in case I need to remove it later or I need to change something in my goal that doesn't happen often but I like the freedom to do that so that's why I just use those uh, plant stickers to edit that tag I didn't actually glue down the tag in the paper but yeah moving on the next page when you flip um is I'm going to be using my using it for my monthly log and here it's where I actually have my monthly calendar I like to have a month overview of everything um, and uh, this monthly calendar I use specifically for birthdays, holidays, um, if I have any trips coming up or any events or parties. Um, lately my monthly calendars has been, they've been very sad, you know, thanks to COVID, but it is what it is. That's a conversation for another day <laughs> but yeah but uh, that's what I usually use this uh, monthly log for this monthly calendar I like to have an overview of what's going on in my month 
Um, I do have an uh, online calendar. I use my Google Calendar for other appointments. There are more like, you know, dentist appointment, doctor's appointment, things like that. Or my daily, daily, Jesus, what I'm saying. My day to day, <laughs> my daily, daily, that was awesome. <laughs> my day to day activities, uh, those I keep in my Google Calendar. But, um, you know, I like to have this one just for all of the most important things, you know, the festivities, the, the travels. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so, uh, this was interesting layout to create because, um, you know, this page, once you flip the cover page, that is also white, then you start having the aqua blue pages that the actually insert has. Um, all of the pages in this insert is actually that color with the exception of the first page that's the cover and uh, you know the center paper that I just added. So I was trying to think of a color theme that a color scheme that I could use to decorate this layout. Um, if you haven't watched any of my previous video, I think I mentioned that before, I'm not a girly type of gal. I'm very basic when it comes to colors. I like, my favorite colors are black, green, brown, and I'm saying like dark brown, dark green. Um, I like very earthy tones, white. Um, yeah, pink and blue, it's definitely not one of my favorites. But I like to really uh, play around with my journal. Um, although, you know, my favorite things is vintage, it's not like, too girly or anything like that. I like to play around. I think, um, you know, the fun of journaling, it's to to be creative with it. Like, yes, yeah, it's a documentation of your life. And uh, that's one of the reasons as well to not be too serious about it and, uh, you know, be colorful and play around. Um, I would love to have my entire journal just vintage, but I think it would get boring. Although it's, it would be very pretty, I'm sure. You would get very boring to just see a bunch of layouts that's the same thing and don't get me wrong if you are into that do you you know do what makes you happy if you're happy with just one style if you like the girly stuff or just the vintage stuff i think it's fun to celebrate the way that you prefer to decorate if that's what it's your thing just do you like i said but with me um i feel that it's like my journal it's a creative outlet for me so I like to play around, even though my preferable layouts and the styles, it's vintage, it's earthy tone colors, I like to play. So what I decided to do with this page, because um, it had it already one of the pages with the aqua blue, I just, I was thinking about what colors would mix with, you know, would match well with the aqua blue. And I know white, pink, you know, all of those pastel colors would look very good. So I just decided to go with it. So for the calendar itself, if you're curious about, you know, this paper that I'm using, it's actually for an old a notebook of mine. It's a Leuchtturm and it's a dotted paper. So I like to use that one because it's just easier for me to draw uh, the calendar. But if you don't have a dotted paper, um, and I use a 5x5, five by, five, by the way, uh, the dotted spaces if you're curious but if you don't have dotted paper that's fine you can just use a white blank paper and if you're curious about the measures it is one inch by one inch per square uh, per each day that's the measurements um, but yeah so I just uh, fussy cut and glue the calendar and I like to do that instead of I could technically just draw on the page the calendar but I like to play around and, uh, you know, with the layers and added some uh, piece of ephemera underneath the calendar and some of the top. Because of that, <laughs> I like to just, you know, glue down. But if, if it's too much for you, and uh, yes, of course, because with the dotted paper, it's just easier for me to, to draw than have to measure the whole thing on my blank paper. Um, so yeah, so that's another reason. But if you just want to measure and uh, go to town the paper, uh, yeah, you can do that as well. 
But anyway, so what I'm using here for the corners, the left, the top left and the bottom right, I'm using some Tim Holtz paper. It's just from his paper stash again. I just uh, added some pieces that had this aqua flowers on the screen paper. So I thought it would fit well with the color uh, on the page there. And uh, I'm bringing in some piece of ephemera that I unfortunately I cannot um, tell you guys where it's from because it was gifted to me by one of my pen pals. Those uh, paper, those cut cutted um, papers, and they are in white that has this doily and uh, this uh, plants. They are all gifted to me by one of my pen pals. So I don't know where she got it from or, she, or if she cut it herself. But yeah, and uh, those um, pink stickers the, that I'm using, all of them, the one that says plants on the left and uh, on the one on the right that says make today awesome. Um, they are all gifted to me by one of my pen pals as well. I don't know where she got it from. I'm really sorry. Um, in terms of the flowers, um, I'm using a lot of the flowers from the same washi sticker from Paypen. Uh, that was also gifted to me by one of my pen pals. <laughs> um, I noticed I'm very spoiled by then. Yes, they are awesome. Um, and yeah, the flower that I'm using on the corner left, um, that one I got it from Michael's. It's from the Happy Planner uh, sticker pad and it's the flowers line. And uh, I am decided later on, you saw me moving there, one of the plants and the putting on the bottom because I I decided that I wanted to edit a paper doll. I think it was very cute and very like, you know, feminine. And uh, I think it looked cute to have a paper doll. So um, again, that paper doll I'm using from the same sticker set that I used that paper doll on the cover. It's from the Writing Music Coffee. Uh, a sticker set from Pion and I got that one from Cafe Analog. Now I'm coming in with my La Pen and I'm just adding the days and uh, if you notice I added some uh, you know circle stickers those ones was also from my pen pal and um, I just came in with some of my Tombow in pink in pastel pink and and a lilac and I just added some circles so I could add the dates and that's pretty much it. The only thing that I'm gonna add it is the, of course, the uh, the month. Um, I don't know why. I already know that this insert is for August, but I like to add it anyways. <laughs> um, the month again. So I just came in with my um, jelly roll pen in number zero eight. Um, to write it the month of August, and then I'm just filling it up with the ten. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the month calendar. Again, those are not my favorite colors, blue, pink, pastels, not really into those things, but I absolutely loved. And that's why I won't stop uh, testing out different things, even though they are not my style or they are not my favorite colors. That's why I love so much to test different things because I surprised myself of how much I like some of those layouts, even though they're very girly and I'm not that girly at all. It's just, it's fun. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> the last thing here that we are doing, it is the weekly log. Now, I don't create my uh, weekly logs all at once. I record them for you guys. So I'm just going to create a weekly log for the first week of um, August. And... Um, if you've watched my previous video, the plan with me video, you saw that I created the week 31 uh, layout in my July um, insert. But you notice that I left out Saturday and Sunday because they were part of August. So I just decorated and covered that. And I'm repeating again the same weekly layout and I'm covering now the days they are, um, you know, they are from July and I'm just leaving the last two days of the week, which is Saturday and Sunday, because those are the only days they are from August. 
And uh, yeah, if you're new here, you might think, oh my god, why she is doing that? Why is she repeating the same week on both inserts? And uh, she's just, you know, she could just write it, whatever she needed to write it on the previous insert there. Uh, but the reason why uh, I like to do that, and again, it's personal preference. If you don't want to do that, of course, do you. Uh, I like to do that because I like my inserts to be very individual. Uh, once I'm done with my July insert and I move to my August, I don't want to keep two inserts and still be writing um, on my planner there because I still have two days left there that is for August and be using my August insert here. So once I'm done with that insert, I'm done and I don't want to do anything else with it. So that's why I do that. But anyways, moving on. What I used here for paper on the corner top left it's from uh, Team Holtz. Then I added some stickers that my pen pal sent it to me, uh, some washi tapes that my pen pal sent it to me, and uh, this flower sticker. It's also from the same uh, sticker pad from Michael's uh, Happy Planner Flowers line. I'm just uh, added some you know, washi tapes, the same washi tapes that my pen pal sent it to me, I added to the weekly uh, logs, so that way I can um, use it as indication of the week. I added the same circle stickers that my pen pal gave me and I use it for the monthly calendar. I use the same for the dates, the first and the second. And I just wrote it with my, um, jelly roll pen in number 10 the days and uh, if you're curious about in terms of measurement I go into a lot more details again on my setup but I measure one inch per day and I start it from the bottom up so that way whatever it is left over on the top usually that's where I use for my um, title of the week but because this week I only had it two days for the month of August, that's why I decorated so heavily on the top. Hopefully that makes sense. Again, if you are not understanding quite well what I'm doing, if it's kind of confusing, um, I highly suggest you go watch my setup video and explaining how I set up my traveler's notebook because that's gonna clarify a lot of your questions. But yeah, I'm using another paper doll from the same sticker set the writing music coffee sticker set from peon that i got it from cafe analog i just decided to go with this uh paper doll because she had this lovely green dress uh that was uh, like a pastel green she was holding a um book that was like pink so i thought it really fit well with the whole vibe and theme that i was going with all of those other stickers that you see me that has like a round that's like white, they are all from the same sticker pad from Michael's from the Happy Planner line. And um, yeah, the doily that I'm using and those white uh, cut plants, they are from my pen pals. I don't know where she got it from. Um, let me see what else. I think I said everything the only thing that i didn't say those flowers the purple and the, the aqua blue on the corner right there on the right those are from the uh washi sticker from pay pen and that's pretty much it i'm just gonna bring it in close we finally done uh just so you guys can see all the details of the uh, of this insert i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, i hope you can still Grab some inspiration from this and use on your inserts, whatever insert you are using this month. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you stick this, find this video, thank you. Thank you so much for your support. If you have any questions or any suggestions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm always replying to your guys' comments, even if it takes me a little bit. I always go back and read all of your comments and reply to all of you. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me. I'll see you guys on Saturday. All right, that's it for today. Bye for now. Ciao.